Well, howdy, folks. It is today is the 29th of November, 2018. We've got some wild skies, lots of uh, chemtrails, lots of uh, contrails, as <laughs> Britannica Dictionary says. It's early in the morning. It's a little about, about 6.30. You see the skies behind me. <laughs> Pretty horrible. <coughs> what I um <coughs> what I'm addressing today in my video is uh the fact that apparently a terrorist won't get a job. Because uh even though I've got pretty darn good cred credentials and great referrals uh, yeah, I even had a referral from the last job I had as a car salesman the general manager said you can go ahead and use me as a reference and I mean it's amazing that a general manager would, would even do that and or it's been 18 years I realized when I got off the phone with him 18 years since I've been a car salesman. Usually they wouldn't even remember your name, but when I called, sure enough, he said, Haskell, give me that phone. <laughs> He's a great man. He really is. Uh, runs a five-star dealership, and they uh, really do care about their customers. Anyway, here nor there, um, apparently all these jobs that I have applied for, the little dealerships, they just simply don't have the jobs right now. They, not making much money um, but the bigger ones that are definitely looking for salesmen well so far anyway they can't hire a terrorist think about it you know, felon not only that it pulls up that I am a terrorist so what are the odds here guys I'm thinking <laughs> I'm not gonna get a job because I'm not allowed to just go walking in. In the old days, what we'd do is we'd dress up and you just go in, and you show who you are, and you fill out the application, and you ask for an interview. Well, it doesn't work that way. No. Gotta do it on the internet. And this PO garbage I'm dealing with, you know, even though the two, the PO and the SO, the surveillance officer and the probation officer, are real people, and actually, I, I kind of like them. They're really good people, I think. Um, they can't make the rules. They're just doing their job. But I gotta go uh, three days a week and fill out, uh, apparently I gotta fill out uh, and, and apply for at least eight jobs a day. And I see guys in there that have been doing this for six months. You know, what's the reality here, guys? I, this didn't happen. Okay, <laughs> especially with me. I, could, I wouldn't even have to go to the third place if I'm looking for a job. I've always got the job either the first place or the second place. But actually, I was famous at, I started my own job. I've always been self-employed, but I've had a few other jobs, so. Anyway, here's the deal. I'm back to the thing. I need my supporters. Do you know anyone in Tucson that runs a business? Because the reality here is, I need a job. I don't want to keep going to the stupid job search day in and day out for no reason because th there's really no reason. You apply eight times and they go terrorist, 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 terrorist. And nobody wants to hire a terrorist. I don't blame them. Okay? But what I need is a personal reference from somebody that has a job. Just give me the job and I'll tell you something. I am an excellent em employee in all ways. Reliable, dependable, trustworthy, and good at just about anything. So, I'm going to ask once again, does anyone know a business in Tucson, Arizona, that's looking for an employee? The only really requirements I have here is I, I need a, a job that they take taxes out so I can pay for the war. So I can pay for all this illegal stuff they're doing to the people. But that's the only limitations, pretty much. 
Um, I can't go out of my county. So listen, I'm, I'm asking, does anyone know someone in Tucson that runs a business, please, that needs an employee? Because this is just, it's like banging your head against the wall. You know, I try not to be negative here, but, but I'm thinking, I'm gonna keep applying and keep applying. I'll be like one of these guys for six months that have been applying eight places a day and de no job. That, that shouldn't be right. So, I, and trust me, I'll keep trying. I'm not gonna sit and wait for you guys to respond because most of y'all, you're not in Tucson. So, but anybody know a person running a business that has the ability to give me a job, I would really appreciate it. You know, I understand the big channels don't put my stuff on anymore. They've already done their job, or as I was told, they got bigger fish to fry. Fine, that's whatever. So I'm, I guess I'm counting on the 63 people that watch my channel. I mean, how do I even have 1,400 subscribers? As I'm lucky to get 127 views. I, oh, I gotta say this though. I don't watch too many chemtrail videos either. It, you know, it just goes on and on and on. But, you know, sometimes I go over there and I, I thumbs up them and then move on and back out, go and thumbs up them. So I, I do understand it's, it gets really boring watching chemtrail videos. But anyway, I just wanted to call out to my supporters again. Maybe I missed some emails. You, you ought to see how many emails I get. I, I, and it's all junk. You know, I don't get too many real ones, but it's hard to decipher them. So I might have missed an email that somebody said, hey, I had a job, I sent it to you. Well, please, if you know anyone in Tucson with a business that could hire someone, looking for someone, give me a call. Um, you know, or give me a, uh, give me a message on YouTube. Give me um, uh, an email, my email is Haskell Films, films with a Z on the end, so that's H-A-S-K-E-L-L-F-I-L-M-Z at yahoo.com. That's how you can email, email me. Um, so again, I'm just calling for a job. Um, I check Craigslist all the time, and you know, I just feel like it's a total waste of time. Because apparently, and it took me a while to get this out of the lady from a, an HR lady from a dealership. I said, you know, why haven't they called me? Da da da. She said, sir, you're a terrorist. Wow. Never should have signed that damn plea. All right. Thank you, folks. Chris Haskell. Out. Have a good day.